this is a story that came across my view and I was just like, dear God, it's like, how far have we fallen? But then I got to realize this is just how the United States is and how the United States is perpetually continuous hate within the capitalist system. So they were coming out of Reuters. It says U.S. company fined for hiring kids to clean meatpacking plants. You heard that? Wait, wait, wait. You heard that right. Y'all heard that. Kids cleaning meatpacking plants. Videos cutting out. See, this is why I need a hard line. But kids are in meatpacking plants. This is wild. So let's get into it. Oh boy. So it start off starts off with a major food safety sanitation company has paid 1.5 million in penalties for employing more teenagers and dangerous jobs in meatpacking plants in eight states, the U.S. Department of Labor said on Friday. The department said that Packer Sanitation Services Incorporated allowed at least 102 children between 13 and 17 years old to work overnight shifts and use hazardous chemicals to clean dangerous meat processing equipment such as brisket saws and head splitters used to kill animals. You know what's interesting? I, I I gotta say this. Back when I worked in fast food, there was a sign that said there were certain machines that we could not operate under the age of 18. There were sometimes like circular choppers and things like that. We we couldn't do it. So we had to make certain things within certain products within within that menu certain machines we were not allowed to use at all we just couldn't it was illegal under law under the age of 18. so the rest of us that were 17 16 17 year olds we couldn't do it and yet in this country you have kids children and people will be like, oh, they're teenagers, kids, right? Cleaning meatpacking plants, cleaning these things. We're, we weren't even allowed to clean the pieces to these machines when I was a kid. And yet, now you have teenagers, kids cleaning meatpacking plants. Child labor. That's what the let's continue. It says Packers contract meat packing companies to provide cleaning services at slaughterhouses. Federal labor team from working pack plants and merge miners from working pack in the summer at 7 p.m. during the school year. The large penalties against Packers. Contracts at JDS USA plants in Nebraska and Minnesota and Cargo Incorporated plant in Kansas. The Labor Department did not accuse JBS, Cargo, and other meat packers of wrongdoing. Part of me is like, hold up. Y'all mean to tell me that y'all got a bunch of teenagers coming in to clean y'all, to clean your facilities. Overnight, and you mean to tell me y'all didn't, y'all didn't know, y'all didn't, some of your workers didn't find that suspicious? See a bunch of kids from, from Central and South America coming in that only speak Spanish? 
that are cleaning your plants? You mean to tell me that that's not Really? That's not suspicious. That's not that isn't that isn't that suspect? Like for real. I don't believe these companies. I just don't believe them. I don't believe management. I don't believe the executives. I don't believe them. And I sure as hell know that some of them workers close to closing time, I saw some of these kids come in to clean these plants. I remember back in the day when I was working at a restaurant. It was a theme park restaurant. And we were responsible for cleaning the workstation, like the cutting boards and refilling, restocking, making sure the fridges were clean. But as for the stoves and the grills and things like that, we did not clean them. A cleaning crew came, came in. And the majority, if not the entire cleaning crew, were all Central and South American people. They were grown. They were adults. Some had to be in their mid to late 20s at the youngest. And so we stayed there long enough to see them come in, right? Because we closed at 11 p.m. on during the slow season. We closed at probably close to midnight. I'm sorry, 10 p.m. during the slow season, around 11 p.m. during the height, you know, the busy season. And they would come in at 11, 30 at night, and we would still be cleaning up right before they can start their job. So to me, right, it seems far-fetched that some of the workers did not see these kids come in. It seems far-fetched that some of the management did not see these com kids come in and didn't raise concerns like, wait, that kid looks a little young to be cleaning a bone saw. That kid seems a little young to be handling these harsh chemicals. So I'm pretty sure that some of these concerns were brought up to management and concerns were brought up to corporate. And so to say that JBS and Cargill didn't know, they weren't aware, mm, I call BS. Yeah, that's what I do. Man, I'm telling you. says Wisconsin-based Packers said in a state that has zero tolerance policy for employing minors. The company said it conducted an audit of its workforce and hired a law firm to review its hiring practices after learning of the Labor Department's investigation. Y'all should have known that. Y'all should have been doing it beforehand. Why not now? Gosh. These people, they think we're born at, we may have been born at night, but not last night. The Department of November in November sued Packers and Nebraska federal court for allegedly employing at least 31 children at three meat meatpacking plants. Packers settled the lawsuit in December by agreeing not to hire minors and to have an outside specialist monitor its compliance with labor laws. See, this is the problem with capitalism. You see, in order to not do things bad like this, in order to not screw over people, they literally have to have a babysitter. There's no ethics when it comes to capitalist corporations. They don't have ethics. This is why they have to be babysat by bureaucracies, by government entities, so that they don't do something that is dangerous for people because you don't have workers that are overseeing what's going on and the fact that workers are stakeholders 
And so if something goes wrong, they are directly affected. The executives, the shareholders, they're not affected. So therefore, they don't care. So they have to literally have their hand held in order to do the right thing. And people wonder, like, why are you a socialist? Well, <laughs> look, this is why. This is this is why. <sighs> Gosh. The findings announced on Friday stem from a broader Labor Department investigation of Packers. The department said in the lawsuit that most of the children who worked at the three plants were not fluent English speakers and had to be interviewed in Spanish, though it was not clear whether they were, they were immigrants. Okay. A Labor Department spokesperson said that the agency did not verify the immigration status of the children. Why not? None. Reuters has reported that the illegal use of child workers, particularly migrants, is widespread, including at chicken plants in Alabama and by contractors who employ workers at Hyundai and Kia assembly plants. The automakers have said they don't condone labor law violations or are reviewing hiring practices used by their suppliers. So even your cars, even your cars. are help being assembled by child labor. Well, capitalism breeds innovation. This this is innovation, child labor. Because last time I checked, we made that shit illegal decades ago. I mean, child labor is illegal or supposed to be illegal in this country, right? Funny thing is, in order for things to be illegal, the legality of it must be enforced. And if you're not willing to enforce it, then is it really illegal? I'm going to ask that question again. If it is not enforced, if the law is not enforced, does it mean the actions of these people are technically illegal? It is written on paper. It's in the constitutions, right? But is it truly illegal? It should be. But we don't see that now, do we? Capitalism. Man, I'm telling you, that's the way it is. And it's pretty sad that, you know, stories like this are coming up. And the, the mere fact that you have these kids who are migrant children that are being victimized in this way. It doesn't make sense because it doesn't make sense in a just and logical system. In an unjust, illogical, and unethical system, it makes perfect sense because who are they going to rise up against? Who are they going to... Are they going to go on strike? Do they even have the wherewithal to go on strike? Some kids do, but the fear of actually doing that is even greater. Plus, they probably get stories about, oh, well, if you say anything, then we'll deport your family. You'll never see them again. It's slavery. That's what it is. Like, let's call it. Let's 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 
call a thing a thing. It's slavery. Like, what? Are, are we not going to call it that? And a lot of times people will try to wave it away and go, oh, well, no, this is just some bad corporatists. Like, no, this is pure capitalism. Look, here's the problem. A lot of times these corporations will do whatever the hell they can in order to extract as much resource out of workers as they possibly can. That's the name of Sorry, I live in the hood. Anyway, so did y'all hear that? I wonder if you guys heard that. If you guys didn't hear that, then that's great. Thank you. Thank God. I mean, anyways, so the problem with capitalism is that the capitalists try to extract as many resources as possible. That being said, people and environments be damned, right? And so in order to make sure that people don't die, what do governments have to do? Well, they have to take and they have to put a bridle on capitalism and kind of steer it, even though it run amok and it's wild. And a lot of times people will say, well, it's not just cap it's not capitalism, it's only capitalism. And I'm like, it's capitalism still capitalism, nonetheless. It's a system that requires infinite growth on the planet with finite resources. And it will continuously go for that infinite growth no matter what. And whenever you put these bridles, these controls, these guardrails on it, what is it going to do? It's going to shed it as much as it possibly can because it does not like guardrails. Capitalism hates regulation. It does not like it. Even though that regulation is there to safeguard our lives and keep us from dying. It makes sure that we don't get cheated. But capitalism does not like it. This is why they will go to court in order to cheat you out of money. They will go to court to cheat you out of labor. Because that's how it works. And they do not care about your children. That's the thing that people need to get it across their minds. I said it. In a TikTok, somebody was like, well, the goal? And I said, the end goal of capitalism is slavery. People look at me like I'm crazy. But if we didn't have these regular regulatory laws in place, what do you think would happen? These regulatory laws weren't in place when my ancestors were considered chattel. So what? That's the problem with it. This system.